Why are politicians and water quality enforcement agencies permitting cities to dump 1 billion gallons of sewer water daily into the Delta Aqueduct water, polluting the drinking water source for 25 million people downstream? The Sacramento region is by far the largest polluter and each day is permitted to discharge over 181 million gallons of partially treated sewage. Contained in this wastewater are significant concentrations of ammonia. On a monthly basis, Sacramento adds 125,000 gallons of ammonia to the Delta, far more than any other source. These discharges are believed to have a significant impact on the Delta smelt and other threatened and endangered species. In addition to Sacramento, another dozen municipalities each day flush an additional 200 million gallons of treated sewage directly into the heart of the Delta. These discharges have grown substantially over the past 30 years as populations have expanded. Here we are, we just saw the signs, they don't want you playing in this stuff. No recreational use on this water, not recommended. Well, I wouldn't recommend it either, because here it is, it's a little, bur little stinky, and I'll tell you what, this is what's killing the fish. It's all these sewers and all this city up here dumping their treated sewer water, but not treated enough into this, and this is killing the fish. It's not the pumps. If you'd actually see this water and see what's coming into it, you would. if you have an aquarium at home, you'll know what kills fish. And it's, <laughs> it's not your pump aerating it, it's the crap that's going in the water. This is what they dump, and you can see right now, they've been dumping everything in there. You can see the color of the water. You can see all the stuff is coming in from the sewer, from, you, from the drainage, from your sink, from your toilet. Here it is. And this is what the people from Malay are drinking. The Stockton Wastewater Treatment Plant has been repeatedly cited for illegal discharges of toxic contaminants. A recent lawsuit filed by environmentalists identifies over 1,500 sewage spills at Stockton over the past five years, endangering human health and the environment. Another 600 million gallons of treated sewage is permitted to discharge every day by some 300 additional communities upstream of the estuary and its habitat. Upstream from here is, is Stockton, a, a major discharger, Modesto, major discharger, Turlock. All, all, all these cities that discharge in, they need to tertiary treat this water. They need to clean it up. If they don't clean it up, we're never going to have a healthy delta. and we could have disease jeopardy because you know you got pharmaceuticals in this water, you got heavy metals that aren't cleaned up, you have ammonia concentrations, you have chlorine concentrations. That this water is is not fit to drink until it's treated, and I mean substantially treated. A 2008 investigation by the Associated Press revealed the presence of pharmaceuticals in the drinking water of major metropolitan areas. Scientific evidence suggests even small amounts of such substances, including estrogen, antibiotics, and heart medications, may adversely affect habitat and fish species. A recent Public Information Act request confirmed that none of the major municipal agencies which discharge directly to the Delta are testing for the presence of drugs and other pharmaceuticals in their wastewater. Despite the availability of more stringent tertiary sewage treatment methods, Sacramento and other wastewater treatment facilities have not yet implemented these best available current technologies. Are we suffering water shortages? higher food and water prices so Bay Area cities can flush their sewer water to the ocean? 13 cities dumping directly into this delta and that's what's killing the fish. It's not the farmers, it's not a pump. It's, it's the sewer water going in, in the delta. The, the state has grown tremendously. Uh, our, our infrastructure hasn't kept up. This water should be all tertiary treated that's being dumped in here so that it protects the fish, it protects the water for the downstream water users. And instead of dumping uh, semi-treated water that, that, that causes your problems, causes costs for your downstream neighbors, causes health problems, causes fish to die, causes our pumps to get shut off. It's, it's not right. They want more water just to flush this sewer system. That's the bottom line.
Each day, up to 1 billion gallons of partially treated sewage is dumped into Sacramento San Joaquin Delta and its associated waterways. Municipalities in and upstream of the Delta increasingly use the estuary as a toilet bowl for their sewage discharges. With each flush comes increased pollution, including toxic contaminants such as ammonia, heavy metals, and even pharmaceuticals. All the waste dumped in the river contains a load of non-biodegradable chemical products and toxic sediments that remains in the channels. These toxic discharges increasingly degrade water quality and greatly impact the fragile Delta ecosystem and food web, as well as threatened and endangered species. As population growth in the Delta region continues to increase, so will wastewater discharges and their impacts on this critical estuary. Environmental damage will generate by priority an obligation to rebuild the ecosystem. As determined by law, all inhabitants are entitled to a healthy and balanced environment suitable for human development so that productive activities meet present needs without compromising those of future generations and have a duty to preserve it. The Central Valley is being severely damaged due to the federal reduction of water supply. People are protesting because fish, farms, and cities deserve clean, safe, reliable Delta water. We will fight until the last consequences to defend our families and our fellow citizens. Turn off the sewer pumps now.